Yeah, this Danica. is a 66 year old female, diabetic, hypertensive and uh, presented with unstable angina. His PCI was done, uh, you know, elsewhere in three arteries in 2018. Patient has normal LV function and angiogram reveals significant, uh, you know, age stenosis and the patent stand and there is some narrowing even at the sarcostium. Uh, plan is to evaluate uh, uh, inject with OCT and IVAS both these areas are uh, area of instant and then uh, to decide the strategy and to have discussion on ISR and how uh, it impacts the prognosis and the even the result, short term and long term results of the procedure. Wire. Run through. The stands otherwise are flowing good, even the RCA was also flowing good. So, looking at the angiography, sir, what, uh, what is your, uh, you know, what is the cause of this ISR? I think uh, this is a late. Uh, out of a very late risk stenosis, uh, probably because patient was asymptomatic till 2017 or 18 when she was stented. So, if I have to have a wild guess, this will be a, a sort of a heterogeneous ISR. There may be neoatherosclerosis and there may be a lot of fat at the age of the stent. Let us see. We'll do OCT first. Can can we have the AP caudal view as well? Yeah, go to AP caudal. We'll show you circumflex. There is some disease, and there once we are done with this, we will think what to do there. Here, this is a good candidate for FFR, <laughs> just to make sure that everything is fine at circ. Circ is significant. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks very diseased ostium. There is no point in touching that area. And this is stent uh, in the LAD is from the proximal LAD or it's a isolated? There is, actually there are two stands there. Okay. Angiography. Like, angiography it looks like a proximal stand is a significant it. under expansion and this looks like yeah. over expansion. Yeah, we, uh, that looks like that. But we will see. Go to AP cranial. Okay. Type one, hmm? oh, no, no, no. So, what was the size of the previous stent? That we don't know. Even the patient also does not have any idea. This was the patient which we catheterized yesterday only, and uh, because it was ISR, I have kept it, uh, kept her for today. So, the previous stent is coming up to the proximal LED. Yeah. Now, th there are two stents in LED. That's what I feel. Okay. We'll see. It could be calcium also. Calcium with uh, it could be some calcium proximally. I am not sure. So there is no record that uh, there was one no, stent no, or no, two stent. No, no, there is no record. They so told that multiple areas were stented. That's the only information we have. So it looks like that is a proximal calcium, I think. Yeah. And distal stent. So this ISR, you know, the tissue will be very interesting. Tissue characterization will be, is going to be very interesting. Uh, is there any plan to treat the osteal LCX as well? We will do FFR, mm -hmm. no problem. But I will, I will like to avoid treating it because this is a bad area to treat. Any problem happening there will have a bad impact on the prognosis of the patient because the restenosis will extend in the left main, straight. So, I will not be surprised even if we will have a, you know, absolutely well endothelized stent and proximal, you know, increase native artery, you know, progression of the this disease. This is what? Let us see. I was. Are yeah. Achha, they have given me I was first. Okay, no problem. I was, I am not sure how much information we will have but we will see. We get see. information of the stents. Ah, we can right. get a expansion and other things pretty well. I am not going further, okay? Okay.
चलो लेट स्टार्ट या समीर और अभिराम प्लीज कॉमेंट गिव कॉमेंट्री ऑन आई वॉज सर एनी रीजन दैट वी आर नॉट वाई वी आर नॉट गोइंग हेड विद आई वॉज It's a type one LED, and okay. I don't want to push the things very hard. So, so far, the old stand looks good. okay. Yes, yeah, stand looks well expanded. Yeah. Hmm. So much of the disease is proximal, and it's de novo disease, I think. Yeah, I we think. cannot identify yeah. any strut, right? Yeah, that's that's the area there, about 180 degrees. Yeah, again, a lot of calcium. So this is calcium inside the stand. Yeah. So it's suggestive of new atherosclerosis. Yeah. there will be even i will not be surprised to yeah. see a lot of fat and tcfa inside because the presentation was unstable angina no is there any stand proximally as well at this particular segment no stand that is what is a million dollar question it doesn't look like it, just it looks like and here is the calcified nodule as yeah, well yeah again nodule again yeah. nodule yeah. and there is no stand across We, the proximal yeah. lid we cannot identify any strut by imaging right? so here the iwas and oct will be complementary like uh, new atherosclerosis calcium inside the stent you won't be able to see the stent but in uh, oct you will be able to see behind the your calcium and you will be able to see yes. the stent but, yes. but some part uh, calcium is not present so at that site we cannot identify any stent strut yes. in the proximal site i think with oct we will be able to identify ah, yes okay yes. okay so give me oct we will take a oct run with me you know uh, we have uh, you know aman and uh, rajni who are assisting me dr tejas you made a uh, uh, an excellent comment for by you know you told not to push the you know yeah. catheter because uh, one thing i must share that uh, like in case of calcified arteries whenever we are trying to image the distal coronary artery it's very important yeah. you know we to uh, take care that our catheter both oct and i should not get railed off from the so wire because of the risk of stuck uh, catheter yeah. so whenever important. a new fellow comes you know or new uh, uh, young cardiologist comes and joins me initial stage and that teaching i did even with aman like if you have two you have two eyes so a, a good interventionalist always will have one eye at the tip of the guide catheter and the other eye at the tip of the guide wire because these are the two area uh, the two, two, two you know two things which can give some dreaded complications because we have seen uh, you know incidences of uh, stuck oct or iwas catheter if we yeah, are tried to yeah that's right you know, and that is where we have to be very careful that catheter should not get railed off from the like wire. here i am not worried about seeing very distal stent area oh, because in any case it looks good and yeah. the distal artery is extremely negatively remodeled okay so yeah. this is more than enough so here it's very important to see the extent of stent where yeah. till what the yeah so i am not worried about giving a very picture perfect oct as far as the stent uh, length is concerned we will be interested in in the area of interest in right, this case yes okay the kaise hai mana bhai ha a kai vaado ne kai vaado ne stand struts ma bhale ro kaise inject kaise inject yeah it looks good ha huh? it looks good Yeah. Again. Oh no. Stent is well endocellized yeah. here. Yeah. The distal portion yeah. of the stent is okay, right? Yeah. But the proximal side, I cannot is, identify yeah. any strut. Yeah. Lot of calcium and lot of fat. I think both. I think uh, that the calcium that uh, it's a it's a native artery disease. Right. The stent is looking good. Because here is there is no stent. No stent. Yes. Yeah. This, in fact stent is well endothelized and there is hardly any in fact there is a little bit of late lumen loss there is that's no significant right. isr that's right again just show me so again you have a calcify heavily calcified vessel here right ah uh, yeah yeah nodule, nodule and a bad nodule ah huh? this is a bad yeah. nodule right and and wire is far away from that nodule Yeah, so nearly six hundred 
360 degree, right? Yeah, here. Root this is this is the worst area. Yeah, right. Again, around yeah. 360 degree yeah. calcium. Yeah, come back, come back, come back. Yes, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, come back. Uh, this is again a healed plaque. Uh, the go, go, no, on that side. Uh, yes, on yes. that side. And t there is, you know, TCFA in offing with calcium, with a healed region. At around 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock position, you know, the intima is getting thinned out. And, and this is, uh, Professor Akasaka, this is nodular calcium, right? At 6 o'clock position. Uh, yes, a small amount. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So nodular calcium versus calcific nodule, it's a very good concept I learned from professor. You know, it has to protrude, protrude inside the lumen significantly to get a definition of calcific nodule. Otherwise it is nodular calcium. So, yeah. the, so the stand, yeah, edge of the stand is okay. It's right? good. The stand yeah. edge from the yeah, leader. but yeah. Now come, come. You can see here, this stand, you know, has some proliferation, and the stand stand struts are not seen in certain areas uh, between uh, that, uh, you know from six o'clock to twelve o'clock position. So according to the new classification of instant uh, restenosis it falls in the category of uh, type 4, type 4, without any protrusion. If there is protrusion inside, it is type 6. Go, go on that side. On the other side. So what, what should be the disposal? One more IVL. Yes, I think yes, we should yes, go sir. for a yeah. I will again again <laughs> to demonstrate the impact of IVL both on 360 degree calcium yeah, as well as yeah. nodule also. Okay. So the size, uh, it looks like here we can use even 3.5. I am not convinced with the heel yeah, class could, in could the calcified Could you show us the heel the plaque, sure. right? Again, yes. There are some questions from the audience. Yes, here. We, we can identify. 3 to 5, but yeah. then you can take even 3. Or even 3.5 will not be a bad idea. Yeah, with such a high thick calcium. So what is the size of the vessel from where you want to start your IVL therapy? That size is 3, 3 point something little. So I think uh, the, the, for IVL we should go for 1 is to 1 size as per reference diameter. Here looking at the overall content of the calcium inside, I somehow feel that it will not be uh, you know a, 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 an effective thing. Let me see. Inject but I think for this we will be preparing uh, pre uh, the bed before we check the IVL balloon. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, suggestion, sir, as to where you would choose rotablation rather than IVL? Uh, yeah. What uh, what OCT findings would have guided you for yeah, rotablation? Yeah, that's a good question. Like if I have to dilate here, also I am not going to dilate. If I have to dilate, and if my non-compliant balloon refuses to enter or enters with difficulty or it is not entering then I will rotablate and I will never think of using IVL straight away as a dean oh no and moreover if your imaging catheter is not going so, so that's a case yeah that's where right yeah so the, I think we take 3.5 the OCT says the proximal diameter is uh, 2.9 so, so, so what I don't is think the consensus? Tell three, three. I think we okay. should go for a three because so that's get a reference me three. I think three is probably safe. Okay, fine. And moreover, the minimal yeah. lumen area yeah. that's showing yeah. is 1.39. And the IVL, the 3.5. All the these three and uh, 2.9 and everything is because of the calcium. There is an ocean of calcium all around. That's but anyways, no problem. Yeah. In fact, they say that IVL balloon, the entry profile is uh, 041042. Here the die is around 1.39. I think it, it should go uh, easily. But this was so, you know, uh, intriguing, you know. We thought that we are dealing with some, uh, you know, instant, but instead it is all. In fact, angi angiographically it was looking like that there are two stands. Yeah. But the stand was absolutely, you know, uh, good. So many patients from the peripheral or the rural part coming, they hardly have any information, neither they have their records properly kept. 
So this problem, and we have to simply guess. So with so much of negative remodeling in the previous stand, uh, yeah. how are we intending to overlap or not to overlap with the new stand after the IVL therapy? Let us see how the, the picture of IVL treatment looks and then we will take a call. No problem. In fact, we can review the previous picture that how from where the disease is getting started and from where they are giving the, you know, IVL therapy and how many dissections they are getting. Accordingly, they can plan, I think. But I think this is a good case again, a 360 degree arc of calcium, calcium nodule and, you know, demonstration of... Uh, uh, you know, well endothelized stent after three years. No, in fact, five years after that. In fact, whosoever has done it, he has done a good job as far yeah. as stent placement is concerned. We always try to do a good job, but God has to be kind on the patient actually <laughs> in this field. Yeah. Dr. Patel, will you like to put a wire across the LCX disease LCX at this point? No, 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 not needed, no. IVL is the one uh, which has the advantage of putting two wire which is not there with the orbital and yeah. rota. I will, I don't think I will uh, use it because somehow I, uh, you know, I don't like too much crowding inside the lumen of the guide and even in the coronary lumen, I don't know why. Because somehow, you know, deep-seated teaching of my Professor Roger Quality in US, he told me that anything in coronary is thrombogenic. <laughs> so <laughs> I like to keep less and less things inside the coronary. So here comes the important, uh, you know, one of uh, another advantage of uh, you know IVL over rotational arthrectomy. If you have got a bifurcation lesion, mm -hmm. you can put a wire in the side branch, and you can be comfortable at least, you know, for the with the fear of losing the side branch while modifying the uh, modifying the parent vessel. Scout. Scout. See you. Okay. That's good. Four. Four. Go. Sine. Six. Six. I think it has broken. It has broken. Broken. See, another thing is for the uh, beginners who are who have started just using IVL or who, who are intending to use, you know, every time you have to do some movement with the balloon just to change the profile of the balloon before giving another, uh, you know, pulses. Next pulse. The problem here is because of the calcium, the things are getting entrapped. And that makes me a little bit go. Uh, uh, uncomfortable because this is a time either you dissect left main or you dissect LED ostium. So shouldn't we deflation be after the orange button is uh, I mean we deflating faster is what I feel. No they say that uh, okay, uh, deflate. deflation the, in fact uh, why they want why they propagate that uh, deflation after uh, that yellow to green. Wait, just wait. because they say that emitters are heated and just they can it. it can lead to rupture of the balloon. Just check it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So in fact what we yeah. do is four uh, application at four, go yeah, at six go here. and then come down. But there's you a pause the between you come up. down, right? Yeah, STs are immediately point. going up. Ah. So you are dealing with a viable artery, huh? Ah yeah. Patient presented with significant angina Six. and negative drop. Deflect. The C, the STs are up. Yep. Uh, Another advantage that has been seen. They are coming down slowly. We have to give time to settle and to, to allow the things to perfuse. Okay. Inject. Now go to AP caudal. I am always worried when this type of symptoms happen and I like to check in the caudal view. The, uh, the area of left main and austral LED. Okay, things look good. Uh, now, where to go? We have come very proximal. So, should we or should we not the ostium of LED? 
I think we can review the OCT to see how much is the, you know, ML. Have we reached the ostium in OCT? Yes. Just show that. So if MLAs are good, we can… MLA air is 4.38. So that is okay. Yeah, and plaque is stable. A very stable plaque, yeah, no problem. Fibros and yeah. then… Okay. So then… and there is some… I think… Uh, uh, I think you can give the cycle just inside the ostium, not to <coughs> add the ostium. So that… Yes, yeah. Go in. Right there. Go, go, oh, go, okay. go, 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 go. Again, go. Immediately the STs go up. How many of you have seen VF happening during uh, pulse wave treatment? I think <coughs> it's in case reports till now. Yeah. Uh, I have never seen it and uh, you know we, we regularly see, uh, see shock topics. Yeah. But they say that I will balloon the surface you know, uh, the surface uh, activation is only uh, 0.8 microjoule have or 8 you, microjoule. Have you seen this IVF balloon in vitro keeping inside the water and how the things look? Yes, we have seen that uh, yeah. it gives a good… A cardiol also, huh? They say that the shokotopics, the, yeah. the current is only 8 microjoule and even the defibrillator… Go to AP cranial. When you uh, generate fibrillation in the patient, it's around 2 to 6 joules. So they say the current is very less. So it's unlikely that it will cause uh, VT or VF, but there are few case reports. But Got it. Now, focus the camera on IVL balloon when I keep it outside. I like, you know… Uh, How many cycles have you given, sir? Four cycles. So let us see first OCT whether it has been modified or not before seeing the you think I will okay fine no problem so I think we have modified it to a great extent but we will check it because we OCT? because we have got pulses remnant we yeah, can use yeah, it I agree it again looks like a stand result huh? yeah it's good excellent result that is again an advantage of uh, I will that but uh, you know sometimes you, uh, you know, young generation cardiologists, they feel that we can, they can get away knowing, you know, having IVL with the calcium. But one has to learn the rotational atherectomy for sure. Because if you treat 100 cases of calcium, there will be 5 or 10 you can't get away without rotational atherectomy. You are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Was I? I love Pachula. Okay, Scout, a little Scout here. No, little bit more. Okay, okay. Chalo, let's go ahead. Huh? Flow on. Uh -huh. Inject. Looks good? Okay. Oh. A lot of demolition done, huh? <laughs> yeah. Macro fracture, micro fracture and what not. Fortunately, in both these cases, the calcium <coughs> was not very stubborn, I think. And the proximal osteal LED area has a nodule, I suppose, just come over there. We can zoom out uh, and uh, see. Yeah. Zoom out. Zoom out. Yes. Yes. Now we can see the artery. Yeah. You can rotate to yeah. show the LCX yeah, yeah, osteum. Yeah, that's right. No. I think yeah, we, this is yeah. Go, 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 go. No. Yeah. Now, now, now. Put, put it. Are, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Left main is long here. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. A nodule is there. The edges of the nodule have cracked, so it is fine. 
it is fine no problem the length i will put my stent inside the stent so that i i am not worried about distal dissection and according to the proximal area i will choose the stent sir do you think that this uh, uh, are you uh, you know uh, happy with the calcium modification or you want to modify it more no no i i, I as frankly i will not modify more okay because uh, uh, we have done this before okay. and this is these are the cases every pulse patients sts are going up and down it means that we are heading for a no reflow because of whatever so mm. it is ha huh? so just show me 28 uh, where where does it end Well, that's fine, no problem. At the proximal, what is the what is the uh, diameter proximally? So, if 5.45 is the area, 2.6. What do you think, Abhiram? What should be the strategy? Well, I, I think 275. 275 at least. I 275 think. by yeah. 28. Huh? 275, 28 again because it is calcium. i will be uh, 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 using zions uh, uh, give me alpine so regarding the stent usage you know how do you use your stent you know selection of the stent according to the property uh, with a calcified artery or a very tortuous artery or a very complex angle or or whatever can we see the uh, you know diameter at the your landing zone do you want to land the set yeah just show that yeah because there we can decide the size yeah we're getting about 2.62 262 luminal yeah luminal so 275 should be okay la but excellent result after ivl you know yeah. vessel is flowing all small vessels are you know all the septals and diagonals they are flowing yes i would have loved to show a good rota case you know but unfortunately we don't have any handy uh, case handy for rota as of uh, as of now because you know i wanted to show uh, you know how the plaque modification is seen with rota uh, retrospectively your first case was a perfect one for the rota ablation uh, yeah unfortunately <laughs> i beg to differ but yeah majority says so <laughs> but but uh, you know i was quite worried about those bad angles and yeah, the perforation torch city torch city. city and perf and perforation happening there you know you 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 perspire to push your covered stent in Oh. Oh, 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 guy. Hmm, hmm. Go to AP Cordal. So the ostial LAD area. Let me just uh, modify my guide catheter and give a very constant pressure here. So what do you think that why it's not going? <coughs> Calcium okay. uh, and the area which is a little bit topsy turvy. Just inject and see. Where is this? Oh. oh, oh. Also along left main. We can see it in the OCT also. What is there? Just close to the. I stand. think we have to give pulses at that area. Out. Yeah, we have got four cycles. We can yeah. give two two cycles both at the yeah. distal Thanks as well as. Thanks for the possible. suggestion, huh? I was a little bit overconfident here. Huh? Nodule is giving this problem. Let me do one thing. Give me another wire here. Here, the 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 body wire will help me track this balloon. Doctor, yeah. just because this nodule may not break. even with 40 but we have got pulses i think we should use it rather than you know with body wire your stent will go but we are not sure about the expansion 
let us uh, because we have got a okay. uh, on table we have got cycles with us okay let let us use that patel let's use the body wire and also the ivl balloon oh that is a problem <laughs> so that you know i am a, i become selectively deaf hearing this statement <laughs> patel sir actually you are doing we are just seeing it you know <laughs> that is a difference but excellent case you know heavily calcified with not such a such a friendly panel i have you know there because i have seen the most hostile of the panel because i have done live demonstrations across the world that patel we liked your comment about say two eyes one for the tip of the wire and another yeah. one this but then is you, what i am teaching but but uh, uh, let us tell you that you are the third eye to look after oh, everything no. what's going to happen <laughs> no <laughs> and it's the experience vomit thai happy the mset i have to be very quick only worry for me is the patient is nara joy le ja patient you know becomes quite unstable during the pulse so here we can give half half cycle that oh, we do in left main also that half cycle deflation half cycle deflation yeah that is we do in yeah, left main also yeah go the thing you can see this nodule yeah pull, it's pull. it's visible yeah, yeah yeah how many of you feel that this this nodule will break i strongly feel that it will give us ah. a good msa floro i feel that it may not break so sts are up immediately i am little scared but we will give one more yeah at the same place yeah in these kind of cases we give half half cycle you know 5 second go cycle go and give, let the artery breathe apo go yeah st is are up floro chati is is having a lot of pain okay Six. deflate i think we can let the artery breathe for some time yeah see the st is are uh, t waves are up and they come down immediately it's a very sensitive artery so yeah how many atmosphere have you gone six uh, six, six, six 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 hmm. go here scout 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 we can wait for few seconds so let yeah. the artery breathe you know yeah let me yeah you are still Toro. missing the ostium oh. ostium par aap hi de rahe ho so we have crossed the area where the get, uh, stand was getting stuck scout i think so okay see this is this is the area stent was getting stuck right you can give one cycle here also go quick fentanyl happy day is das chilla six deflet in this kind of sensitive scout. patient and within the left pain you can give high half of cycle also to scout. make it a stable situation a yeah, good spot give 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 no problem now i don't want any problem even if you know ah. it looks like it looks so, like so we have given all the cycles now yeah yes, we are done wait six चेक कर ले तो हम 
so patel sir what we do in our lab is like once we have given you know ivl and the patient is stable ec is normal so what we do is we take the first you know injection during oct only just to avoid extra amount of you know uh, see contrast you know here 1020 cc of non ionic dye should not better uh, and we are always a tense that we are having a good image or not so there i beg to differ uh, epicranial branch eh? okay okay Hello. That's enough. Not enough. We just want to see the proximal part. Yeah, we want to see only this area, right? Okay. Chal, check it. Yes. So, Samir, what do you think? I think it will be fully. I think it will be Inject. fully expanded. Huh? I think it will be well expanded in just you know time to spend. I think that you know it's it's deceiving. We have created a huge dissection. I think it's time to st put a stand now. Yeah, th th there is no choice with us. <laughs> In any case, I am not going to do anything. <laughs> so we have got Timmy three flow in the LED. Yeah, yeah, that's the prox LED. Yeah, right there. Yeah, nodule. Looks like it's flattened. It has flattened, huh? Yeah. But but it is still there. Eight o'clock. You, know? you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Get me the stand. Out. Why can't those cars? Look. Get me the stand. And you all pray that the stand should go now. Enough. Go to AP Cordal. I think now it should go. As far as luminogram is concerned, it's a well opened no, artery now. Good. It was well opened even before. <laughs> no, I think the distal part uh, close to the previous stand was not opened, uh -huh. where we have given the therapy. I think so. Though we have not taken the OCT of that segment. Yeah. Let us see whether you have to use buddy wire or not now. Uh, I wish I don't have to. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I think it will go. To, no, it won't go. Yeah, okay, I think it will go. Look here, it is getting stuck there. At the it's going point. with difficulty. It's, yeah, it's going. Cranial. Go to AP cranial now. Joilene, I'm going to get enough chair. Don't do anything. Let us see the stand. Oh, okay, go to AP Caudal now and just check it. You are landing before the stand. Uh, scout. Na jau par se. We have to go. Now, just check it. LAO Caudal. See, Austral LAD if I want to involve, I will trust only LAO Caudal. Just show me the tip. No, not this. Just change the view. Hello, Caudal, just do here and there. No, you don't understand here. No, no. Now, this because of the long left main, we are not able to. So Areo then we will, to, will then we will go to Areo Caudal. Yes, this looks good. Go. Go to one more view, Areo Caudal. This no, no hurry, no hurry. We have done so much. We can wait for a minute more. How is the ECG? Settled. Absolutely. This looks perfect. Go. 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 15. Inject. Sir, See the circ is flowing well. well. 18. Yeah. 18. Record and deflate. Okay. Ah. Uh, 
मारवाड़ी में बोलो कल ओके शूट या इट लुक्स फैंटास्टिक नाउ लास्ट ओसीटी यस लाओ एंड इट शुड बी जेन्युनली द लास्ट ओसीटी आई डोंट वांट टू वर्क ऑन दिस आर्टरी एनी मोर अच्छा व्हाट आई सजेस्ट टू एवरीबॉडी आई मीन इट इज माय रिक्वेस्ट दैट आफ्टर दिस इफ वी कैन हैव अ स्पीच टॉक ऑफ डॉक्टर आकाशाका एंड देन अ स्मॉल कॉफी ब्रेक एंड देन वी कैन हैव पैनल डिस्कशन is it okay with uh, uh, you guys yes yeah so that will be wonderful uh, we we can hear dr akashaka and then uh, we can have coffee and you will really need some coffee and cookies before uh, panel discussion because panel discussion is going to be very interesting Keith, uh, you can uh, ask them to prepare for uh, Dr. Akasha Kas talk next. Uh, the uh, so OCT audio get the is going easily. Absolutely, it means that nodule has no, gone inside. Huh? That is a previous stand. Go to AP cranial and just check it. I think we can we can go slightly distally, you know, because of the new stand. We can see the new stand. Okay. ओके नाउ आई डोंट डेयर टू गो मोर इन साइड द आर्टरी इज वेरी स्मॉल गो चलो रेडी सर्वे मोड इंजेक्ट सी द वे कैथेटर मूव सो फास्ट देर इज नो रेजिस्टेंस इन दैट रीजियन सो वी स्टार्टेड विद द प्रीवियस एंड नाउ न्यू स्टेंट हैज कम या looks good huh uh, yeah i don't think anything i like to do here can we see the rendered stent view that is exactly at the ostium just spot on at the ostium and here i will not like to correct it because i know that the sarco origin is not good can we yes. see the rendered stent view here yes out go to uh, areo cordal this is a very nice result i am happy raj can we see the msa by selecting the luminogram at ostel led and the distal led ah <sighs> at the last view is areo cranial i think result looks absolutely clean yeah it looks beautiful so uh, i will request uh, professor akasaka yes to deliver the talk okay when the the audience is already charged up it's always a good idea okay. that they listen to you okay thank you yeah thank you very much thank good you yes congratulations thank you, thank you. Yes.